Hello everyone and welcome back to Project Burn. I'm Danny and today I'm going to be doing a video on my Blingo Multispace 1.6 desire that I bought that needs a rear axle. As with all my new project videos I'm going to start off with a full 360 of the car. This is a Blingo Multispace 1.6 um, 16 valve petrol. It's done 152,000 miles, had one previous owner and one of the bonuses of why I bought this car is because it's got air conditioning which works perfect and is freezing cold. I bought this car from Sheffield, paid next to nothing for it because it needs a rear axle which I'm seeing plenty of these coming up on eBay so if you're prepared to do the work you can end up with a cheap, reliable, uh, multi-purpose vehicle that you can use for all sorts of things and it stands you at very little money. With this being the desire model, you've got the front fog lamps fitted. It did have plastic um, headlight covers on this car, which I've ripped off because one of them were cracked. It does need a really good clean, which I'm going to get done today. Unfortunately, I didn't notice this when I bought it. The windscreen's cracked. Windscreen, sorry. Um, it's got the sensor there for the auto windscreen wipers and headlights. So I don't know if that's going to be more expensive than the standard ones. Got a few scratches and a few dents here and there. Got a bit of bubbling on this driver's front arch, which is coming from the inside because the bubbles are bubbling outwards. We've got the four panel modger top on top there as well, which lets lots of light in. Uh, we've got the roof bars and we've also got the original bracket so you can put a bigger roof rack on it if you want. Along the side of this car, it's still super clean underneath. Um, I've had my head underneath it. A few bits of bubbling here, but it's nothing. This made me laugh, they must have really hit this with the fuel pump nozzle or slipped when they were doing it. They've made a right mess of that, but again, it's not rusting, galvanised body. I don't know how long ago that was done, but it's not showing any rust, any discolouring. Round the back you've got your standard marks from getting stuff in and out. And then we've got a tow bar fitted with electrics, and like I just mentioned, the rear axle's gone. On the driver's side it's the worst, you can see there's a slight lean to it and the spur wheel's missing too. But we'll get into underneath this car when we get the axle ordered and start cracking on with that. The guy who owned this car was a keen cyclist, I think this car's been to France many times, hence why it's got the high mileage on it. But it has been ma maintained very well. Um, it might be due a cam belt um, and I think the clutch might need doing at some point but I've not had a chance to drive it that much. That's pretty much what's going on on the outside of the car. So I'm gonna get inside now and show you what features it's got, which I've already mentioned anyway, but I'll just show you actually on the car. So on this car, it comes with the blue interior, whereas mine's on the Bilingo XTR, it's got the silver panels and the gray interior. I do like it. Inside we've got the modger top with the panels letting the lights through. This modger top plastics do need a good clean and a scrub, but they should come up nice. They are an off yellow colour. I think they were like that from standard if, I would be, if I'm honest, but I don't think they were this yellow, but they were an off white, definitely. As I've just mentioned on this car, we've got the automatic headlights and we've also got the automatic windscreen wipers. We've got the air conditioning, which works an absolute treat which is why I'm driving it with a rear axle problem because I need the air conditioning so I can keep this guy cool. Other feature this has got over the Bilingo XTR and 40 is the fact that it's got more information on this panel here. You can see the lights have gone like it had done on my Bilingo XTR, but this also shows you how many miles you've got to go to a petrol station. It tells you the outside temperature, the time, and also the radio station you're listening to. Got a few little bits like this which are easily sorted with a bit of um, spray glue. But that's the front of the car. We'll move on to the back of the car and hopefully not make wake the puppy up. So in the back here, you've got your standard floor storage along with more storage up here. I have noticed on a lot of these Bilingo multi-places with the modular tops, these doors are snapped off. But on further investigation, it looks like it's that whole panel that needs to be replaced. It doesn't look like you can just take the doors off another one and slap them on this. We've got the vents here and some um, fan controls for the air conditioning, heater, whatever you want to call it. So you can um, control the heat coming into the back, which is brilliant when you've got a dog because you can keep him cool. I've noticed this here. If anyone can put in the comment section below what it is, it feels like it could be a lie to some of um, but I also don't know whether it's something to do with like a torsion bar for this back drawer. But it looks like a fluorescent light, but I don't know what that is. 
the two core anger hooks are missing they've probably been snapped off by accident and i said there were four panels but that's a lie because there's three in the back so it's five panels in a modular top but i'm absolutely buzzing with this car it's absolutely perfect like i said it needs a really good clean which i'm gonna have to do myself but outside wise i'm gonna take it to the car wash now and get it cleaned sorry about the noise in the background uh, someone's cutting some in the boot here I've nicked this out of my other Bolingo because it was missing. Um, the trolley's also missing. Hopefully I can pick one of them up. Again, comes with that mat that goes in the back. The seats fold down exactly the same as the other one. They fold flat and then they flip back up as well. So you get full storage. Um, check my other videos if you want to know what the dimensions of these boots are because I did a video on that, giving you the measurements. Obviously it's a bit different with a modular top car because you lose a bit of the, st the height due to these... Um, storage compartments being in but i think you'll agree this is a pretty tidy car considering once it's all cleaned up and made pretty again it'll be an absolute cracker so apart from a little bit of paint a bit of rust here and there this car needs very minimal things doing to it i've already done a rear axle on the red one so i'm not scared about doing that i look forward to doing it i'm going to do them videos in a little bit more detail but this was a bargain i got it from sheffield like i don't know if i said earlier one owner, 150,000 miles, and I'm really looking forward to it. What it's going to stand me at when done, I'll probably keep this along with the red one, or I might sell the red one, seeing as it doesn't have air conditioning. So if you want to buy that one, just give me a shout. Uh, find me on, in on Instagram, Project Fern, and we can go from there with it. Well, there you go. Another project has landed. I've had this for a few months, if I'm being honest. I've just had it stashed away. I've pulled it out, and I'm driving it with the rear axle problem, because unless I put a big load in the back, it just clunks, bangs, um, it's sloping a little bit to the right, which is nothing too major. I just need the car with air conditioning so I can go out with Fritz um, on little journeys when it's hot and know that he's not going to overheat or get too hot and be ill. This car drives mint. The steering, you've got your usual knocks, which I've come across with the other Bolingo, which will be easily replaced. I'll probably do videos on that, but it's just going to be an easy project, this. Needs a bit of paint, needs a few trim sorting out. Try and sort out this modular top. Um, as you can see it needs a good clean a good scrub um, it's left me some cds in here as well we've got i don't know if you can see them we've got coldplay and motown Rec lionel richie i think um, i think they're all good use them as drinks coasters i think but this car's not got much to to do on it not much to spend it's going to stand me very little like i keep saying give it a good clean out in here give a good interior clean i'm going to get myself an interior cleaner i think um, i'm sure rug dot to do one now for about 150 pounds see how i get on with that that's how much most detail companies want for you to do an interior cleaner and i'm not saying i'll do it as good as them but i'd rather buy the piece of equipment and then going forward from there i can just do it myself but yeah this has been the walk around today of my 2005 citroen bolingo 1.6 petrol I've been watching the miles that I'm doing in this car with the fuel that I'm putting in to see how it compares to 1.6 HDI. I will be doing a comparison on the both. Um, I'll probably get them side by side and show you exactly what the difference is between the two. If you can get a modular top, I'd always try and get one if I were you and especially look out for one with air conditioning. They, were, they are out there. I'm not sure if they did a batch that came with aircon. I don't know if they specced up a few, ex -dem a few demonstrators that the dealerships had to buy or people just bought them as an optional upgrade but i'm really really happy with this car i'm enjoying driving it it does drive really well it's 110 brake horse i think the 1.6 hdi is 75 brake horse so i've got a little bit more power it might be a little worse on fuel but i'm not worried i think it's going to be minimal to the point where i don't even notice it with the amount of fuel i put in it so i'm going to run this car for a week or two now just through the hot weather with the aircon so i can keep the dog and myself cool and then I'm going to take it off the road and start working on it and getting the rear axle done because I know I'll probably have that done maybe in a couple of days. Spend the day getting it off, then painting all the bits up that need to go back on and then a day putting it all back on and then get this car done. It still is MOT till December. I taxed it the other day. So basically, and it's cost, they cost nothing to insure. I just think they're an absolute bargain of a car. You know I love them. You know what my views are on them. I think everyone should have a Blingo multi-space in their life. I've been looking at the next mark up from this, the Mark 2s, and I'm just not feeling the love for them like I do with these cars. I'm laughing at the Mediterranean Blue because this is the exact same car I drove down to London in, which I tell you the story about when I was 18 year old and I couldn't believe people actually bought these cars. And now I've ended up with pretty much that car at 36 years old. I'm going to leave the video there for today. 
um, let me know your comments in the comment section below um, there's so much love in the comments for these blingo multi spaces and they're proving to be some of my pop most popular videos as well so thank you everyone who's watching them make sure you hit the like button and if you're enjoying these cars or the projects that i'm doing and you're not subscribed to the channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button um, it does help us um, people who idiots who make videos out a lot um, it gets your videos recommended a little bit more and stuff you know how it works with the youtube algorithms and that but i'll leave it there and as always thank you so much to my subscribers thanks to everyone who comments thanks to everyone who likes the videos and i'll see you in the next one